Today I'm going to be reviewing the watt cycle 12 volt 314 amp hour lithium iron phosphate smart mini model. I have reviewed a similar model from watt cycle before and it was about the same size as this battery but it was 280 amp hour. This one is 314 amp hour which is 12% more capacity for about the same size. This is the mini model, which is the most compact 314 amp hour battery you can get. To put that in perspective, this is a typical size of a 100 amp hour battery. And you can see it's only a little bit bigger than the 100 amp hour, but it's more than three times the capacity. And you only know the difference when you lift up the battery. This one I can lift very easily this one a lot heavier so how heavy is it i put on my scale here and it weighs a whopping 62 pounds 13 ounce so almost 63 pounds or about 28 and a half kilogram dimensions of the battery 13 and a half inches by seven and a half inches by 10 inches this battery can be controlled and monitored by Bluetooth app. So first let me hook up a 12 volt light bulb and I'm going to show you the Bluetooth app. Here's the first page of the app. Up here we got the state of charge of the battery, battery voltage, current, input or output. And in this case is outputting 4.6 amp. And that's why you see the negative number. 61.3 watts. On the left side we've got the internal battery temperature 81.5 degrees Fahrenheit. It also gives you an option to turn on and off charging or discharging function. So let's try the discharging function. So right now it's discharging at 4.6 amp. If I click this button you go down to zero and my light bulb is turned off. Let's turn it back on. There we go, my light bulb is on and we are discharging again at 4.6 amp. Now let's go to the next page. This is just general information, website, user manual, phone number, email. Let's go to setting. On this page, it will let you change and adjust a lot of parameters. Maximum charge voltage, usually 14.6 volt, but in this case, you can enter the voltage you want to charge the battery at the maximum voltage for this battery 14.6 volt is the standard number so i wouldn't want to mess up with this number down here we got the maximum charge current for this battery 210 amps maximum charge temperature minimum charge temperature minimum discharge voltage maximum discharge temperature so all of these numbers are by default and they are set up for this battery. So even though you can change all of these parameters, all of these numbers are fixed for this specific battery. So I wouldn't recommend changing any of these numbers for this battery unless you do an upgrade for this battery. Like if you switch out a BMS, then some of these parameters may be different. But all of these numbers are made for this specific battery. So I would just leave this alone. And that is everything about this app. For me, the most useful feature for this app is the ability to turn on and off charging and discharging function remotely via Bluetooth. And also the ability to monitor the battery temperature, which is pretty cool. I have charged the battery to 100%. The battery voltage right now, 13.18. It's time to do a capacity test. I have two battery discharger here and each one is discharging at 10 amps. So for a total of 20 amps. And the battery is 314 amp hours. So it's going to take a total of about 16 hours to finish.
All right, it has been over 15 hours. Let's see what we got. 15 hours, 43 minutes. Capacity on the left side, 157.7. On the right side, 157.43. So total capacity together is already more than 314 amp hour. And we are still going strong. So this battery is going to end up more than 314 amp hour. So I'm just going to let it run until the BMS shuts down. All right, after 16 hours and 15 minutes, the BMS just shut down. And let's see what we got. So the one on the left, 162.5 amp hour. The one on the right, 162.32 amp hour. So total capacity is 324.82 amp hours. That's 10 amp hours more than the ready capacity of this battery. That's awesome. Here is all of the data I have recorded for the last 16 and a quarter hours. It's time for a load test. This battery is rated at 200 amp continuous current. So let's go ahead and test that. I've got a 3500 watt inverter connected to the battery. I've got a 1500 watt electric kettle and a heater connected to the inverter. Let's turn it on. 127 amps. Now let's turn on the heater. One hundred and ninety-five, two hundred, two oh five. Yep, we have two hundred and five amps. Let's turn on my timer here. We have two hundred and ten amps. Voltage is down to 12.7 volts. That is pretty good. It's holding up pretty well. Oops, it shuts down. Yep, it shuts down. Let me turn off the heater and turn off my inverter as well. So the BMS shuts down around 40 seconds or so. Let me reset and start again let's see how long it takes for the bms to turn back on oh yeah it turns back on after about 20 seconds or so so there you go at 210 amps the overload protection kicks in and shuts down the bms after about 40 seconds and then you have about 30 seconds or so for the BMS to turn back on. And that is excellent. The BMS is doing what it's supposed to do to protect the battery from being overloaded. For the next test, I want to see how well it runs when it's under 200 amps. I got the same electric kettle, but this time a smaller heater. Here we go. 127 amps. Let's turn on the heater. A hundred and seventy amps. Let's turn on the timer. All right, it's been over four minutes now and we are stable at 162 amps. Battery is also stable at 12.81 volts and my kettle is boiling. So it's time to turn this off. Now let's take a look at the Bluetooth app. I want to see the temperature inside the battery after all this intensive test. 94.3 Fahrenheit or 34.6 Celsius. Over here, room temperature is about 25 degrees Celsius, so the battery is only about 10 degrees Celsius higher than normal temperature. So that is within normal range for this test. That's awesome. 
This battery has low temperature protection, so let's go ahead and test that. I put the battery inside the freezer overnight, and it just got out of the freezer, and you can see it's forming frost on the battery right now. now let's take a look at the Bluetooth app, and the temperature inside the battery right now is negative 5 degrees Celsius, and there is a warning. And it say charge under temperature alarm. So yes, the battery now has a low temperature alarm. I want to see what happens when I put a load on it. So I'm going to try my 12 volt light bulb. It still turns on. I've got my charger ready. Let's see what happens when I plug in the charger. We're charging at 25 amps. And it shuts down. So, yes, the low temperature protection kicks in and shut off the BMS when I plug in the charger. This is for protecting the battery from being damaged when the battery is too cold. And now if we take a look at the Bluetooth app, if we click on warning here, now it will show charge under temperature and there's a time and a date of the event too. So that is pretty cool. It's doing a good job protecting the battery. In conclusion, this battery passed all of my tests. It has more capacity than it's being advertised. The BMS does a good job at protecting the battery from being overloaded, from being over discharged, and it also protects the battery from being too cold. All in all, it's an awesome battery. That's all I have for now folks. Thanks for watching and I will see you again in the next video.